Today I'm going to show you how to swap any face into any image using Inside Face and Midjourney. We are going to use it with Midjourney images, but it can actually be used with any two images you want to upload. So Midjourney produces the best images, but it's not that great at transferring the features of faces to its generations. So now we can swap facial features to get the best consistency. Let's say you want to create a consistent comic book story and use the same actor throughout, then Inside Face is ideal for this. For this tutorial, we'll need to set up Discord, Midjourney and Inside Face, but it's all relatively quick and there's no coding or complicated parts. If you've not used Midjourney or Discord before, take a look at one of my previous tutorials on how to get started. The link is in the description. I've also got some ideas in that tutorial about how to get consistent character designs that might also be helpful. So here are the steps from scratch. I'm not going to cover setting up Discord and Midjourney. You can see the steps to that in my previous tutorial. Let's jump straight to creating a new server for Inside Face. Once we've got Discord opened, we want to create a new server. So go to add server down here in the bottom left. And then we want to create our own server. For me and my friends, let's call it Inside Face for now and click create. Okay, so back in Discord again, we want to make sure we're in the Mid Journey Discord. Let's pick one of the newbie rooms, newbies 43, and then we're going to select Mid Journey Bot over here. And we want to add to server. And then we're going to pick the Inside Face server and click continue and authorize. Once you follow the Discord link, you'll arrive at this page and then we want to select server and inside face and click continue. Agree to all the check marks and authorize. And then we're gonna check if we're a human. Hmm, squirrel potentially a squirrel. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is upload an image and give it an ID name so we can reference it again. So I'm going to use a photo of myself that I took on my iPhone just a few minutes ago. So first of all, let's type in the command slash save ID. It's asking for an ID name. So I'm going to say Rob Shock. Now, it's important to note that it won't take any ID that's greater than eight uh, characters and it has to be alphanumeric. So I've got eight characters in Rob Shock and then I'm going to upload the image. This is the image I'm uploading. I took it a few minutes ago on my iPhone. Think of it like a passport photo. Make sure you're not wearing any glasses. You're not wearing anything on your face or on your head that might obscure the image in any way. Okay, so let's give it a go. I have imagined a male superhero, dark hair, cinematic still, facing the camera um, at sunset. And we need to upscale it in order for it to work. So let's upscale one, two, three, four. Okay, now for this to work, we need to go over to the three dots here. Scroll down to apps. Hopefully we'll see InSwapper here because we've added it to Discord. Click on that. And it's being sent to the queue. Just give it a minute. And once that's sent through, here is the output. You can swap any image you want. It doesn't have to be generated by Mid Journey. You just need to pull it into the Discord. So I'm going to drop in this photo here of the rock. Hit return. And once it's processed, we can try a face swap. So let's hit our three buttons, go to apps, in swapper, and let's see what happens. Okay, <laughs> this is certainly interesting. Um, it's worth playing with anyway. Pick out a couple of images, see how it turns out. And here's me as the rock. <laughs> and of course, the obligatory Superman. George Washington. <laughs> Thanos, no, of course, Harry Potter, uh, Donald Trump. This one is definitely one of my favorites. Look how they managed to do the style transfer with a beard and the hair here. This one is really impressive. So you see, if I enter slash in the message box, I can scroll down 
to inside face swap and then see all the different commands that are available. So let's say I want to list all the IDs that are there. And we can see that we have list ID Rob Shock, list ID Rock. So now we want to set the ID to the Rock. And the current ID name is updated. Okay, hopefully you're all set up. It's important to stress that you use this responsibly and permission is sought from the original owners of the source images. If this tutorial is helpful and you'd like to learn more about AI tools and XOR, a subscribe and like would mean a lot to me. Have a great one.